Gloucestershire maintain their winning record on the road in this season's NatWest T20 Blast, completing a seven-wicket win over Somerset in Taunton to move top of the South group. Michael Klinger leading the way with a terrific ton. Gloucestershire fielded after winning the toss on what looked like a good pitch, one which Johan Myberg tried to make the most of with some early boundaries. But at the other end, Jim Allenby failed again as he hit Matt Taylor high to Hamish Marshall, who hardly had to move at deep mid-wicket to complete the dismissal. Allenby was out for a single with 13 runs on the board in the third over, leaving it to Myberg to clear the rope off Liam Norwell at the start of the fourth. By the end of the six overs of power play, Somerset had got to 40 for two. Benny Howell coming on to remove Myberg for 25 as he shoveled the ball high to Klinger. It was left to Peter Trigo to put back to ball instead, the all-rounder striking Norwell for three fours in successive balls to keep Somerset's scoreboard ticking over. A thumping straight drive from Trigo off Kieran Nima Barnett showed just the kind of form the batsman is in, the home team settling for a score of 77 for two at the halfway stage. Eight more runs were added to that before Trigo just couldn't quite get enough on this hit off Tom Smith and Howell held on just inside the boundary rope in front of the Colin Atkinson Pavilion. The 100 came up in over number 14, Mahela Jayawarden are trying just about everything to increase the scoring rate. Five overs remaining and things weren't really getting much better however and when Lewis Gregory was stumped by a mile for 16, the home team were left on 115 for four with time running out to post a really challenging total. It needed something special and Michael Leesk in a rare performance threatened by going big off Andrew Ty. But at the start of the 18th over, an attempt at a repeat off Matt Taylor only picked out Ian Cobain, who held on well as the ball died on him in the deep. Jaya Wardener was left trying to get whatever he could from the remaining 17 deliveries. But he mistimed once too often to also be caught by Cobain off Taylor, the Sri Lankans 41, using up 34 balls. It left the total on 141 for six with two overs left, and what Somerset needed were several shots like this beautifully timed pickup from Roloff van der Merwe. Two balls later, Jamie Overton repeated the dose with a powerful shot straight over the bowler's head. And something a little more cultured brought up a third maximum in the space of four balls from Ty in what was an expensive over. It ended with a run out of Overton for a speedy 14, which had used up just four deliveries a drop of the bat, seeing him beaten by Howell's throw from the deep. Somerset ending their 20 overs on 167 for seven. Taylor outstanding with figures of three for 16 off his four overs. A career best for the left armour for the second match in succession. Gloucestershire started slowly in reply, surviving a couple of good run-out chances. But once Klinger and Marshall started to find the boundaries, it looked as if this was going to be another good night in this competition this year for the Gloucesters, who were looking to complete the double over their neighbours. But they were knocked back a bit when Jamie Overton produced a peach of a Yorker to send back Marshall for nine to end the opening stand of 40 made in four and a half overs. The six overs of power play brought the visitors a score of 50 for one and not for the first time Klinger was now the key man. Playing shots like this one, Somerset needed him out. But instead he was raising his bat again in Gloucestershire colours. A second maximum, this one off Max Waller, taking the skipper to his half century of 38 balls, an innings also containing five fours. Halfway through and Gloucestershire had knocked off 80 of the runs, 88 more needed off the last 10 overs and Klinger was not done yet. The Aussie was at his very best and he took his side into three figures with seven and a half overs still left in the tank. Klinger moved to his best T20 score of the season by hammering Craig Overton over long off for his fourth six. Before he flicked the same bowler for another boundary, the 15th over costing Somerset 15 runs, now leaving the visitors with another 46 to get off the final five with lots of batting still to come. Cobain played an excellent role in support, but with 37 wanted off four, he decided to take on Jamie Overton, hitting him for this six. 
and two other forcefully struck boundaries off the next two balls. Now trying to finish the match off in a hurry, Cobain was held in the deep by Craig off Jamie. That ending the second wicket stand of 107, the batsman out for 41. But Klinger remained another memorable knock from him, being rewarded with a sixth T20 century. This one coming from 67 balls with four sixes, this being his tenth four as well. He really is a phenomenon, an outstanding performer. This was the 35-year-old showing the opposition just how it should have been done. Alas for him, he couldn't quite finish the job off for his team. A shovel giving Jamie Overton his third wicket. Trigo with the catch to remove the batsman for 101. But only five were left to get off the last over. Chris Dent hit the first to the boundary. And to the next one, a quickly taken single was all that was needed. The margin of victory being by seven wickets. The win came with four balls to spare, but in truth, it was a more comfortable victory for Gloucestershire than that. They now move to the top of the South group. Their next game at home to Surrey on Wednesday in front of these Sky TV cameras. For Somerset, this was a fifth defeat from nine, and they now really need to beat Kent in Taunton on Thursday.